I'm an adult student, so I had a little bit of savings put away already. Um, so that's helped a little bit, but I'm burning through that. Ten years after finishing his first McEwen program, Matt Krause is back at the university, this time studying to be an accountant. And he says financially, it's a completely different experience. I think now everything's just kind of risen, you know, 20, 30 percent in costs. Um, things like fast food. Students always relied on fast food for being cheap food, meals, that, but everything is expensive now, so. Between grocery inflation, rising rent, and tuition increases, students say they're feeling the pinch, and many are turning to campus support organizations for help. But it's not enough. We try to do what we can, but we can only do so much. They're looking at, or do, we, do I buy a textbook or do I get my next meal? Like, there really is decisions like that happening. Here at McEwen, the pantry hands out free food hampers to students every two weeks. They've had to triple their budget yeah. due to rising demand. It's pretty bad, and a lot of those students are international students, you know, students who don't have the supports that they need. For students at the University of Alberta, it's the same story. The Campus Food Bank is dealing with their busiest fall ever, and they say that's not sustainable. Right now, the stockroom is beautiful. It's full of colorful food, um, but in probably a month, it'll be empty again. Um, we just had our trick-or-treat food drive, which brought in about 5,000 pounds of food, um, but we're giving out about 5,000 pounds of food per week. The Campus Food Bank used to rely only on donations. Now, they spend $10,000 every month buying food for students in need. They set a new record in March, helping more than 1,600 students with groceries and say they're already seeing similar numbers this fall. Five years ago, we would have never expected to be in a position like this. We were around 200, maybe that was the top of the number of people that we were serving every month. Students who use the food bank say they're taking on more debt to meet expenses and sometimes sacrificing their health. Uh, for going, uh proper meals just to be able to afford your rent, your utilities, your tuition. And without the food bank, I wouldn't be able to, to right now pay rent and pay for food and pay just for regular uh, things. The campus food bank says it's generally booking up a few weeks in advance and has stepped up fundraising efforts to meet demand. But if this is the new normal, they worry whether they'll be able to keep up. Madeline Smith, CBC News, Edmonton.